Hi everyone. So I have been having this amazing conversation with spirit and honestly, this concept that I want to talk to you guys about time and ascension started five years ago. So it started five years ago with spirit telling me you need to understand the Fibonacci sequence. And I was like, what do you mean? Right? And they wanted me to understand it. And then I was going to have to wait. And basically what happened is I had to wait five years to this time now to understand why it applies. And so in this conversation that I recently had with spirit, I was just like, wow, I love it because it finally made sense. So I'm going to break it down for you and hopefully you guys can understand why some of you might be feeling uh, these ascension symptoms, especially now, especially since just in that lead up to December 21st, like we said, the timelines were changing and we were standing as individuals within those timelines. So it made us feel really wonky. But then now, even since that click in that zip tie into this new higher than expected frequency timeline, frequency timeline, um, we are still having to adjust. And so they're calling this the adjustment period. And I'm going to explain why, but it comes in a series of steps. So I've got my colored markers here to see if I can do it justice by explaining. So for those of you that aren't familiar, the Fibonacci sequence or the Fibonacci spiral. It's a spiral that is so common in so much creation. We see this in flowers, in how ferns grow. We see this in a lot of different things. And basically it is a spiral that gets exponentially bigger as it moves outward, right? It grows exponentially bigger as it moves outwards in growth. Now, when Spirit explained this to me five years ago, they said the key component that you need to understand though is with consciousness, it is the opposite. So in growth that we see on our 3D planet, we see it growing exponentially outwards. But what happens is when we are returning to self, this whole idea that we keep talking about it, going inward, go into your heart, discover you, is a return to the heart center in exponentially quicker growth that gets shorter and shorter and shorter. The growth periods get faster and faster as you return back to the center source point of self. So I thought, wow, that makes a lot of sense, right? So once I understood that, that was like phase one, okay? Phase two was they said, flip it. Here's phase two. They said, flip it on its side and then you will understand consciousness of the ages. So when we flip this spiral that you're seeing just in one dimension right now, but we flip it into the way it would be viewed as we move through it in linear time, because remember on this 3D planet, we move in linear time. Time happens in one direction, okay? So now all of a sudden we have a spiral that looks like this. I hope you guys can see that. So we have a spiral that looks like this now. So now we can see that as things grow, they grow exponentially bigger as they move in that direction. But then if you think about it as beings, we are growing from this into consciousness as we move down to our returning to self. So then what happens in the ages as we move through them, I'm gonna pick a different color here. As we through, move through the ages, and if you go back to the concepts of creation, where they some people say the earth has had growth and creation many times over. This isn't the first time. And we can see that in the legends of Atlantis and Lemuria. We can see that in the histories of Egypt, right? There was a consciousness and a golden age in which then the world returned back into the Iron Age and the Age of Darkness. And so what we've seen through the different ages is growth cycles like such. And you can get the idea, right? And so it goes through the cycles, right? Now, this is all based in kind of 3D reality understanding of linear time. Now, if we come back to the idea of what's happened now since the solstice, and we moved into a fifth dimensional consciousness of energy, we're talking about different energy signatures, not just the 3D consciousness anymore. There's enough of a tipping point that occurred by the time of December 21st that launched us into this fifth dimensional conscious consciousness frequency that has a certain speed and it's moving us into this different age, the age of Aquarius. So now think about it. 
We understand how these move, but what's happening to our physical bodies in this whole process is as we are moving linearly into our remembering of self, beginning into a new age, we're moving linearly, but at the same time in 5D consciousness, time isn't linear. So we can be moving perpendicularly. So we're moving this way, but we're also moving this way at the same time. And if you think of the basics of how, um, if you go back to how the brain registers movement, it has to be in sync with the body. The body gives the brain a signal, the brain understands that signal and the body adjusts. But then think about motion sickness. Why do we get nauseous? Why do we get a headache? Why do we get dizzy? Why do we feel uncomfortable that we need to sleep? Why do we feel completely off from motion sickness? Well, it's because the body is registering one feeling, but the brain is registering another. Therefore, that disharmony usually makes people nauseous or want to throw up. Just the same as I remember one of my professors in kinesiology told me when he was explaining mo motion sickness, he said, if I put an ice pack on your back and a heat pack on your front, it'll confuse your brain and make you throw up. So the same thing happens with motion sickness. Your brain gets confused with what it's uh, getting in terms of information and insights. It makes you nauseous amongst other things. So for many people that are light workers right now are perceiving these two different signatures as we're moving into this new age because not only were we continually moving forward in our timeline, of this 3D reality, but now we're starting to move this way as, if you see here, we move through one spiral. As it gets bigger, we're moving along with it in this direction. We're now moving like this versus simply this, right? So this 5D consciousness is the part that is kind of throwing us out of whack a little bit because of the movement is not simply linear. And it all comes back to this Fibonacci sequence that is such an integral part of the way in which our entire world is created of exponential growth. So I hope this kind of helps to make sense a little bit. Now, what Spirit was telling me with all of this growth is that we will accommodate our bodies will get used to it as we shift further into that five dimensional, five, fifth dimensional consciousness. We will adjust to that movement pattern just like people adjust, just like astronauts have to adjust to being in zero gravity. It confuses their brain at first. They're known to throw up for a long while, but then they adjust. And so the same thing will happen with us. And so that's why the earth keeps saying ground into my new energy. Don't just stay in the energy of what's happening in a three-dimensional collective right now as we see happening around the world, but she's saying ground into my deeper energy. This is a deeper energy I keep talking about that is showing itself like this light coming through Mother Earth that is equaled by this light coming from the cosmos, this sandwiching that's happening. Ground into that energy on the bottom and expand yourself up into that energy on the top so that you can have a better opportunity and ability to recalibrate to this new frequency. So I hope that helps to make sense a little bit about the difference in our time, directions, and travel, and rate. Because remember, with all of this, we're moving at a faster rate right now. We are growing and expanding faster than we had planned. So everybody's design for this time, all of us that have designed to be here for this time, it's making us move and adjust at a faster rate. So it's a higher demand. So that being said, go easy on yourselves. Take the rest where you need ground where you can, bare feet is ideal. If you can go outside, if it's not too cold, bare feet, perfect. If you can't, bare feet in your own house at times is really helpful. Grounding meditations where you root down into the earth through the soles of your feet. And remember, you will adjust. So there's no need to fear these ascension symptoms. You'll adjust. 